Are we on? You're on. Merry Christmas! Alright, today I'm setting up setting up a shipping box. I got a customer that's buying an entire clutch. 2008 clutch number 47. They're all possible head for stripes. That's eight animals. And a lot of you guys have been trying to get in contact with me because you want to watch how I ship again. So I got fatty filming. I'm going to show you guys how I set up a box for eight hatchlings. This is the standard box. This is the 18 by 18 by 9. Styro box goes inside of it. Let me get the styro box. The company's name is ProPack. Actually, there's a phone number that everybody's been bugging me. Can you get that phone number? It's too bright. Oh, wait a minute, there it is. We can take that setting off. Is that setting on right now? Good. Yeah. What is that? 800-235-1270 Pro Pot. Anyway, this is your standard styro box. This is the same stuff that people ship uh, tropical fish and stuff in. This is your cardboard carton. Brush, perishable, insulated, got your little up sign. This whole box, I'll put it right in there. After I tape my bottom, I put three pieces of tape across the bottom. Then, I close it. Depending on how hot it is outside is how many holes I put in. It's cold, but I'm shipping to Florida. So I'm going to put one hole on each side. All the way through the box, all the way through the styro. Pair of scissors. I stick it in, twist it. That's one on each side. If it was Cool. If it was cool out, I might do two on each side. If it was really warm out, I'd do three on each side. So now I open it up. Get rid of the little styro boogers that pop through. They stand for salt. We throw them away. This is my unprinted newspaper. My hoagie sandwich wrap that everybody asked about. Now what I'm doing... I'm making a nice little layer, little cushion in the bottom. It takes about 10 in this size box. I usually ship in a smaller box in this, but we got eight snakes going out. So we're going big. Take a look at this guy. So this is a cushion for the snakes, and it's also, when I put my heat packs in, I'll put my heat packs in under this cushion. Then I take two more sheets of this paper, and I fold it in flat like that. And that's where the snakes will sit. They'll sit on top of this folded paper. And then they've got the crushed, crumbled paper under them, and then the heat pack's under that. So they're never really sitting on the heat pack. They always got that little cushion for air to go through. And if they would actually go to the bathroom or pee or something in their bag, it'll filter down through. They won't actually be sitting in it. So this box is ready. Ready for snakes. It's got its ventilation holes in it. It's got its paper. It's ready to go. And actually, we're going to leave that right there. Now, we're going to do the first snake. It's going to be a long video, it's probably going to be 10 parts. No editing. First thing I do is I start with my boys and this is 6.2. So this is the bags that I use. I get these from Alabama Bag. These are money bags. Banking bags. So we've got 08, 66% possible head stripe male number one that way he knows what he's got 08 66 percent possible head strike male number one then I initial it Ralph Joseph Davis 08 might see that on eBay one day after I'm dead 
That means I packed it, I know it's right. And then we start with the first snake. Oh boy. That guy went to the bathroom pretty good. Here's his card. 08, 66% possible head strike, male number one. That was a screw up, but we know it's right. We know he's a male. First thing I do is I make sure he matches his drawing, and that's his neck drawing. So I'm looking for the big line, big line, and these two little ones. And there you can see it. Oh, he's upset. Come here, guy. Big line, big line. There's those two little spots right there, and then it picks up, picks up. So I know that's him. Then I sex him. You might want to get a shot at it. Make sure he's a boy. Rolling down. Get his hemipenes up. Get against the way. There's his little peen coming up. So we know we got a boy. He goes down in the bag. Make sure he's down in the bottom. And I tie one knot in it. And there's the first boy right there. Then he goes in the box. We'll situate him in a we'll situate him in a minute. Oh wait, sixty-six percent possible hit, strike. Male number two. RJD, oh wait, on the neck. I'm already messing up. Check him against his card. This is a nice black back. You can see he's got that pattern mark up there and then this little short one and then it goes into that little shark's tooth looking thing. And there it is. There's that little shark's tooth. Then it comes down, picks up all these, and then it grabs that mark, which is right there. Make sure he's a boy. There's his hemipene. First thing I gotta do is stop take, making mistakes. After I do all that, and we gotta jump back on the other one, I always take an ID picture of the snake on the card. So I got my Nikon out, I got him sitting on his card, and I'll take a couple shots of him just the way he is. That way, we know what he looks like. He's the right snake. And if there's a mix up, all we gotta do is look at the photographs and know. All right, now let's go back and finish our screw up. I keep pictures of all my snakes for records. All right, this is our first boy. So we'll put him on there. And it doesn't matter if you get a headshot with a snake like this, as long as the snake's got some kind of a pattern, the picture's not going to lie. I mean, those little aliens or whatnot on there, I mean, you'll be able to decipher it once you look at a picture of it online, you'll know it's the right snake. Sometimes they stretch out, sometimes they don't. 